interview. We're also awaiting a news conference of sorts where Sundance could speak with Blake Shelton. All that just to hear. And we showed you this video at 6 o'clock. Sundance had competing in our singing competition, Give Me the Mic, way back in 2003, 13 years ago. Well, we have more of that video on our homepage at 13. He was solid. And that moment tonight when he was announced the winner, his, his wife and kids, his parents joined him on stage. Of course, his coach, Blake Shelton, was just so proud. It was an amazing, amazing night for a really, really awesome young man. And boy, we cannot wait to see his career really take off from here. Amazing night for him and all of the uh, contestants. Big night of performance, uh, performances as well. He again, uh, tonight, had a really big, great night. Uh, he, he performed with KISS, one of uh, the, the legendary rock groups, of course. He performed with KISS, and not only are they a legendary rock group, whom we all know, but one of his favorite groups, a really amazing story that meant a lot to Sundance and his family. So this was the very first concert that he ever went to. to uh, he was taken to, to KISS by his older brother when he was about eight or nine years old, and about a month after he went to that concert, his older brother tragically passed away in a car accident. So for him to be on that stage with Kiss was really just an amazing night. We talked to Kiss beforehand. They were so grateful to be here and take part in this as well. And again, man, Sundance Head, yeah, he has such a rich history in music. His father, Roy Head, of course, uh, in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, for, uh, known really for that 1965 hit, Treat Her Right, that was number two in the world, only to the Beatles yesterday. But he, he is very, very proud. We spoke to him and we spoke to Sundance first a couple of months ago in their backyard, and they were really looking forward to this night. You know, you never know at the end of the day who's going to win, but he is so happy, so proud to have won. And now this makes three people from the Houston area who have made it to the finals here on The Voice. Two of them have won. Danielle Bradbury, of course, won in 2013. We had Jay Worthington uh, do a really great job. He came in as a runner-up in 2014. And now we have another winner from the Houston area. Sundance here, ladies and gentlemen. We're so proud of him. Cool is so is the uh, Houston area as well. We're going to try to get Sundance here. He's going to be pretty busy. He's going to be having press conference here with Blake Shelton. Coaching meant to you. 